Well, the technique of pre-implantation genetic diagnosis slash screening uses in vitro fertilization technology where we retrieve a good number of eggs and then fertilize those, watch the embryos develop in the lab, and then using very sophisticated methods, after you take a cell out of a, a, a day three embryo or a group of cells out of a blastocyst, you can do a genetic analysis of those cells and thus have information about the embryo without harming the embryo. And what we find is that a large percentage of good-looking, healthy, viable embryos are aneuploid. They have abnormal numbers of chromosomes, and thus they either don't make pregnancies, or when they do make pregnancies, they're more likely to make miscarriages. Patients who have recurrent miscarriage, uh, especially patients who've had recurrent miscarriage due to aneuploidies, chromosomal abnormalities, when we apply this technique to them, and find embryos that are chromosomally normal, and now we have the ability to check all 23 uh, chromosomes, uh, we find the miscarriage rate is dramatically reduced in that patient. Typically, miscarriage rates in IVF are 20, 25 percent. When you do PGS and put back euploid embryos, the miscarriage rates are less than 7 percent. Uh, so we can really help that group of patients not have to experience yet another devastating bad outcome miscarriage.